And this may surprise a lot of people, but actually if function is allowed in Word. So I've just been informed that our company will throw in a free shipping policy for orders equal to or greater than $500. So let's learn how this is done. Now first, let's learn how to refer to this total 914 cell here. Uh, and uh, in Excel, there are two types of cell reference. One is similar to Excel, um, A1, B1. So the first column could be A1. And then the second column could be B. For example, this one could be B3. And this one could be C3. So the third column could be C. And then the third row could be 3. Okay. And then um, the second uh, type of referencing could be row column reference. So we could refer to this one could be row number two and column number one. So R2, C1. And then, uh, for example, this one could be row number two and column number four. So R2, C4. Now, because total is a merge cell, so in this case, we would need to use a row column reference. So, okay, go to table layout, formula, and the formula as you could with Excel. So if now this 914 is uh, row number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, row 5 and column number 1, 2. If R5 column 2 is greater than or equal to 500 comma then return zero because basically we'll throw in free shipping otherwise if it is less than five hundred dollars then let's charge twenty five dollars okay close bracket and hit okay and you can see here that because the total is 914, so uh, the shipping fee is zero. Now, now let's change the price and quantity around so that the total will be less than 500 and we'll see if it works properly. So I'm going to change the quantity of mango from 20 to two. Okay, and then the price of apple from 100, why is it 100, to 10. Now, in order to refresh the formula, all we need to do is to select the table and then press F9. And you can see here that now, since the total order is $104, so what automatically uh, insert a $25 shipping fee. And so it seems to be working properly. So now all we need to do is to calculate a grand total. Now, the grand total in this case will be... Um, the total plus shipping fee so it could not be some above it could be some let's say this is row number five and column number two uh, five column two and then the the shipping cost could be row number six and column two all right close bracket and hit okay and our problem is solved. And that's it. Happy learning and see you in the next lesson.